Hey, you're a uh, Sagittarius, aren't you? Yeah, I can tell by the way you by the way you clicked on this video, you're giving off Sagittarius vibe. Actually, you know what? But now you know the way you smell. You're a Capra candy corn. That's what it is. You're a Capra candy corn. I knew it. Well, regardless of what you are, I am a Gemini, and I take great pride in that. Which is why the other night when I was streaming, I saw on my homepage this beautiful video about some astrology and uh, was was compelled to watch it. So I did. Disclaimer, I'm a bit of a skeptic when it comes to anything astrology related, but you'll be surprised if you stick around to the end, you'll see my view start to change a little bit because this, this girl, she knows what she's doing. Uh, so take a look. I think you're gonna enjoy it. Hello, all my beautiful little unicorns and welcome back to my channel. And <laughs> God, man, I wish I was just a zodiac sign person. Imagine how sweet that would be to just be able to talk about fucking zodiac signs for a living. Just like flip, like play cards for a while, talk about like space and stars and intention that you're on my channel please allow for me to introduce myself to you doesn't help that she's easy on the eyes and it's got the whole green hair like the whole thing looks incredible if i'm being honest like this girl knows what she's doing this is on my home page this is why i'm commenting this on it Mina, and i am the proud author of two tarot decks i'm also a passionate dog mom and of course your favorite psychic here on youtube and i <laughs> Hello, Hello unicorns. unicorns. So she has her own, she's she's authored two custom tarot decks. Incredible revenue opportunity. She's probably absolutely killing it. I guarantee, I, I, I have a feeling with a 416,000 subscriber channel that's this niche selling custom tarot decks, like she's probably made easy six figures on that tarot, tarot deck alone. This is a great business right here. I'm appreciating the the the, the entrepreneurial side of this, this hustle. I would like to warmly welcome all of my beautiful existing unicorns back to the channel. And for uh, I'm also realizing that this is a two hour and 25 minute video. Holy fuck. How, who, 170,000 people. Holy shit. Group one, group two, group three, group four. And then she goes through every single sign individually. Well, gentlemen, I'm a Gemini. You know where we're going. Hello, all my beautiful Gemini babies. And Ooh. welcome to your Zodiac Me? Signs portion <laughs> of your February Stop 2022 it. horoscope and prediction. I'm going to get straight into the reading. All you need to do is lean back, relax, and enjoy this highly personalized approach to your monthly prediction. Okay, this, this chick is crying. It. She's got the aesthetic is beautiful. The nails, the lighting, everything is beautiful. She's personal. The audio's nice. Like the production is good. She clearly knows what she's doing. There's a reason she's crushing it in this niche on YouTube. And she called me baby, and it made me tingle a little bit. I'm I, I'm I'm just being honest with you. We've got the appetite, the turquoise, as well as the lapis lazuli. Let's get into these three crystals the that are represented lazuli. within your reading because these are your crystals for the month of February. There's going to be a lot of hand movements. You know, notice like along with the talking to add a heightened experience to the to to the video for people watching that feel it's very personalized for them. You get a lot of the hands with the dialogue, which is good. It just it just it makes it easier to watch. I think. In the appetite, I can see here that you're being called to not compare yourself to others. February is all about progress, not perfection. That could literally apply to anyone. I'm not picking. I'm not saying it. I'm just. I'm not nitpicking. I just. Sorry. I'll hold my. I'm, I'm going to hold my judgment. Don't compare yourself to anyone else. Don't judge yourself, and instead focus on how far you've come and everything that you've learned as a gemini you are very witty you're very versatile you're eloquent youthful and lively but it's so important for you to not use that quick mind of yours to quickly judge yourself mm. okay as a gemini baby you can very be special. so hard on yourself which is highly unnecessary as i can also see here within the turquoise let me just ask is there anyone that's not a gemini here that can relate to this maybe you compare yourself to other people too much you're a little bit too hard on yourself like here's my problem with horoscopes astrology in general everything is so fucking generalized that no matter who you are you can probably relate to it 99% of the time, right? There's no, like maybe <clears throat> one out of 10, you'll be like, well, that doesn't really apply to me, but there's three more and it's just, everything is geared to, to give you positive affirmations. Like, okay, I'm a Gemini. I relate to that. And now that speaks to me. So like, that makes me feel better about myself. You know what? I, I am, I am hard on myself, man. I do compare myself to other YouTubers too much. You know, like I should, 
Actually, it makes you feel good. It, it elicits an emotional response that kind of roots itself in your in your psyche. It makes you keep coming back to feel that same way. And some people get really caught up in that. And it's very interesting to me. I'm not like trying to come down on the whole thing. I personally think it's, it's, I mean, you know, <laughs> and listen, if these readings provide like comfort and like this girl is like, uh, it provides solace and there's people that watch her regularly and it makes them feel good. Like, I don't think that that's a net bad thing, right? I don't think it is. I just, it, I have trouble with the, the aspect of like, you're just kind of like waiting around a pool of bullshit, trying to feel better about yourself when like, really you need to just grasp reality and start dealing with things in a more grounded way realistic way that's just me though if you disagree with me you're wrong but it's fine you're allowed to Boys, that your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you in february and the true things that actually make you happy <laughs> and the more time passes by the more you actually understand that it's the little things in life that make you happy it's <laughs> spending those precious moments with loved ones with chosen family and i relate so hard to this i do I'm, it's it's working on me right now it's working just being in a circle of people who make you feel seen and heard <laughs> and it doesn't matter really how much money that you make or what your postcode is like i can see in the appetite and the turquoise that you're realizing more and more what's important to you and seeking out to include more of those experiences in your life so spending more quality time with other people taking better care of your mental and physical health enjoying the nature all right, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut it real with you right now. That one was way too relatable. Like to the point where everything I just said for the past five minutes, I might be on board with this now. <laughs> so all all I've been thinking about lately is like ha like spending more time with my parents who are getting older and like actually making an effort to uh, foster IRL relationships. But at the same time, like you're probably all thinking the same thing. It's fucking working. Make it stop. God damn it. I'm afraid to hit play. I'm afraid to hit play. Maybe am I about to be converted to Jesus Christ right now? Am I like at a sanctuary and I'm about to be ordained by the sweet waters of fucking astrology? I don't know what is happening, but boy, is it. Whew. I'm tingling. That surrounds you and all of the beautiful ways in which you can appreciate life and its daily gifts. And the lapis lazuli also shows me here that there is a life-changing epiphany or experience coming towards you during the month of February. So it's a very exciting month for you, my oh Gemini my babies. And it's a time of Hell big yeah. change coming towards you that you did not expect. Again, huh. like an epiphany. I've been a little bit hard on her. I do wonder, like... It's not, this can't be easy, dude. She does this for two hours and 25 minutes. She talks about every sign and goes through different groups of tarot cards. And like, she's, I think what I would have to do is go back and watch the other segments on other astrology signs to kind of compare and contrast like what she's doing. Are they unique in and of themselves? Or is she kind of regurgitating the same generalized um, niceties? But I gotta say like, she's very good at what she does like there's a reason why she's successful and i could see this type of thing being something that someone relies on for either some comfort or motivation for sure so next up we've got the rebellion as well as the monster within yo Once february is going to feel like a very revolutionary month you're going to get to the bottom of a lot of things hidden in the past so you may for example start to realize how people benefit or profit off of other people's misery in certain industries you will be watching very eye-opening documentaries a little specific. that will lead you to many epiphanies about our society and how certain aspects of our society work because obviously not everything is all fun and roses whereas in the monster I within i can see that this definitely affects you in a very per again very <laughs> very in shockingly accurate although that's been happening for several years for me now where it's kind of like rebellious type of view on the world with like government and how everything is run and money and power like i feel like we've all kind of been going through that awakening a little bit exacerbated by the pandemic quite frankly and the, how that's been handled at a government level and all these things most of us have realized that nobody is out there at a government level or all of these kind of institutions that are supposed to be taking care of our society, not they're not out there trying to take care of 
us, right? Like we have to worry about us, take care of us. No way, and you're going through an internal struggle as you realize that you've maybe actually supported certain industries that weren't what you thought that they were. So certain charities <laughs> that maybe do the opposite of what they claim to do. Hell no, bro. <laughs> I know who I support, and I support very specific things because I know that a lot of charities and a lot of nonprofits are absolute horseshit for profit shill companies certain industries when it comes to food that you've maybe supported that are actually very unethical or don't treat the people who work in those industries <sighs> fairly don't care don't care how people are treated just make sure there's a nice steak on my plate that's all i care about wrong again i'm no fucking martyr for <laughs> i'm kidding I'm, I'm being aggressive a little bit like of course i know there's a lot of fucked up shit that goes on i want to finish listening to my horoscope because this shit is blowing you my want mind to improve you want to do better and you didn't know any better before right so for example if you have purchased fast fashion from a company that is notorious for using for example child labor and you're only realizing this in february you're only having your eyes open <laughs> I don't give a fuck, dude. Put the five-year-olds to work. As long as I'm wearing comfortable clothes, I don't give a shit. Put them all to work. Rile up all these poor third-world motherfucking six-year-olds and make them make sick clothes so that I can buy it for cheap. I'm tired of inflation, bro. I don't give a shit. That's Wrong again, tarot cards! Then that doesn't mean that you moving forward and improving will not make a positive change for the big picture. So all of my beautiful Gemini babies yeah. are definitely... I'm a beautiful Gemini baby. I'm a, be I'm a big ass beautiful Gemini baby. I was just a little, little teary eyed Gemini baby just putty in the palms of this beautiful psychic right here. Next up, we've got the Nine of Crystals reversed. In the Nine of Crystals reversed, I can see that you're recovering really well from an injury, be it either something that has been distressing you physically or mentally, and you're going to be able to get back up to full speed like you have in the past. The Five of Diamonds shows me that you will take a few hits or losses because financially speaking, or let's just say professionally speaking, you not being one hundred percent yourself or you not being um as strong as you would like to be because maybe you were very stressed you suffered from a mild burnout maybe you had a physical ailment mm, or injury okay. that sure. held you back from working as hard as you really wanted to so i do see here in the five of diamonds and the judgment card that you may actually blame yourself for not being as successful as you feel like you should be during the month of february but there's a reason why you're here receiving this reading all my beautiful gemini babies and part of that is also because your guides want to stop you from blaming yourself and from constantly placing all the pressure onto your own shoulders. It's not necessary. The temperance card shows. <sighs> it feels like a weight has been lifted after hearing that. I just, God, she's good at just speaking to the. Mm me here that you must be reminded of the fact that everybody goes through these things mm. when you are going yes, through do. a time of maybe physically yes, not do. being able to get up because you're just mentally so exhausted and this is just an example you may That's feel literally like me you are every the morning this person on the planet before noon other people don't deal with this you may not even think about the fact that a lot of other people are going through the same thing or go through the same phases. Not everybody is productive 100% of the time. And that is where I can see here in the temperance card, you have to remind yourself not to be so hard on yourself, especially in this day and age where everybody only posts their wins and all of the ways in which they are being super successful and in which they are living their best lives. It can be hard to find anything real on the internet. So that is where in the mm. temperance card, you have to remind yourself that a lot of people are going through what you're going through. Don't beat yourself up. Know here within the King of Swords that you also have a friend, a colleague, a family member who is there for you. I imagine this is probably her custom deck, which I like the art on it, quite frankly, if I'm being honest. It's a nice deck. I'm telling you, man, she's like, she's like I said before, she's like nine out of 10, right? Like, she's hitting nine out of 10. The one thing with like the companies and like the, you know, not so much, but everything else she's saying is like, yeah, you're kind of nailing it. I don't like, 
I gotta watch some other ones and see and like if I watch like two to three other ones of other zodiac signs and everything's like bullshit, I'm like, no, this is useless. I wanna strongly reconsider my feeling about astrology. I'm not even fucking kidding with you. I will strongly reconsider it because listen, I'm a man of strong opinion held loosely, right? I believe in things strongly until I'm proven otherwise. And if you know what, if astrology is the real deal, then maybe it is. I'm kind of fucking about. I still I don't think there's anything that can make me think that this isn't complete fucking hogwash, but I'm just saying. I hope you enjoyed it and that you found this second part insightful. Let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you so so much for joining me wow. in this monthly wow. horoscope once wow. again. And I can't oh, wow. wait to catch up with you in March's prediction. It's impressive because like she's pulling those cards and she's ad-libbing that on the fly right i think and like that that takes a lot of time to be able to do 12 di like a two and a half hour video 12 different people in ad-lib on every single card that you pull whether you believe in astrology or not you have to respect the amount of freestyling that goes on to be able to execute at this level very impressive kind of was relatable like made me feel good i'm like yeah that that was pretty i'm a gemini that that sounds like me. What do you do? You leave the video. It's like, it's no different than watching like a fucking motivational video, right? I don't know, man. That shit's fucking crazy, though. She's all right. I like her. She's good.